Good morning, student. Welcome to my new online class. It's me, Susma Powell. Now it's time for science subject. Now we are going to start from lesson one. Student, science is a subject which teaches us about our environment and surrounding. Today our topic is living things and non-living things. Now I'll make one table. Here I'll draw the table of living things and non-living things. Here I'll write living things. L I G I N G living T H I N G S living things. Here I'll write non-living things. N O N non L I B I N G non-living T H I N G S non living things living things and non living things first of all you need to understand the meaning of living things and non living things at first about living things let me explain what are living things student living things means those things which are alive which have life in them they are called living things here i write the features of living things number one living things can move living things grow living things breathe living things reproduce Living things need food. These are the features of living things. Living things can move, living things grow, living things can breathe, living things can reproduce, living things need food. Then I am showing you one example. Example is human beings. Example, human beings. H U M A N human B E I N G S human beings. Student human being means you and me like us because we move here and there our own self. We need food to live. We breathe also and reproduce. Student reproduction is also a system which is going on human beings, animals, and birds. Only for example, look at here, I'll show you. I'll draw a pictures of a small baby. Here I'll draw the pictures of a small baby. A small baby turns into a child. A small baby turns into a child. Here is the pictures of a small baby. A small baby. A baby turns to a child. Here is the pictures of a child. The baby turns into a child. After some years, a child turns into an adult person. A child turns into an adult person.
Okay. Here is the pictures of baby, child, and adult person. Student, a baby turns into a child and the child turns into an adult person. Before three, four years ago, all were a small baby like this. Now you are turning to a child. And after some years, you will become an adult person. So in this way, a baby grow into a a baby grow into a child and child turns into an adult person. So in that way, living things need food to live. Living things need food to live. Living things can move here and there like you and me. We can go anywhere. Animals also go, move, go anywhere because they are living things. Living things also breathe. Living things also breathe. Without here, living things cannot live, live anymore. Here, I'll write some examples of living things. Number one, human beings. Number two, plants. Plants also are living things. And birds. Birds. And animals. These are the examples of living things. Now it's time for non-living things. Student, you need to understand the meaning of non-living things. Non-living things is the opposite of living things. Non-living things are not alive. They did not have life in them. Those things which do not have life in them are called non-living things. The features of non-living things are as follows. I'll write on the board. Non-living things cannot move. Non-living things cannot move. Non-living things cannot breathe. Cannot breathe. Non-living things cannot breathe. Non-living things cannot grow. Non-living things cannot grow. Non-living things cannot need food. Cannot need food. Non-living things cannot reproduce. Cannot reproduce. Here is the some pictures of non-living things. Non-living things cannot move. Non-living things cannot breathe, non-living things cannot grow, non-living things cannot need food, non-living things cannot reproduce. These are the features of non-living things. For example, tell me about your bag. Yes, your bag. Your bag can breathe, it can eat food, it can move, it can grow. No, no, it can't because it don't have life in them. It is non-living things. In this way, I'll write more examples of non-living things. Number one, bag. Number two, book. Your copies. And your water bottle also. water bottle and this whiteboard also are non-living things whiteboard etc these are the examples of non-living things now we start a new topic habitat of living things we start new topic. We finished living things and non-living things and we are going to new topic, habitat of living things. Yaj, A, B, I, T, A, T, habitat 
of L I V I N G living T H I N G S things habitat of living things habitat means living place of living things habitat means living place of living things where they get food water air etc where they feel safe student we see various things around us such as cow cow buffalo buffalo fish tiger birds etc these animals are found in our surrounding on this way some living things found on land and some animals found inside water do you know the animals which lives on land look at here i will write land animal at first land animals l a n d land a n i m a l s land animals land animals are tiger cow goat buffalo etc these animals are lives on land yes these animals are found on land so they are called land animals now another animals is water animals another animals is water animal w a t e r water a n i m a l s animals water animals water animals are f i s s fish o c t o p u s octopus d o l p h i n dolphin etc these animals are found inside the water so these animals are called water animals because they live inside the water similarly another animals are amphibians a m p h i b i a n yes amphibians amphibians animals are frog f r o g frog yes n a k e snake c r o c o d i l e crocodile etc these animals are amphibians these animals are lives both land and water the these animals lives both land and in water so these animals are called amphibians some living things can fly in the air these are called birds birds are b i r d s birds the name of birds are yes p a r r o w sparrow d o v e dove c r o w crow p a r r o t parrot etc these are birds they fly in the air but all birds do not fly some birds like kiwi penguin ostrich cannot fly in the air they walk on the land show the student today we learn living things 
non-living things and the habitat of living things. Now, I'll give you some homework that you have to do in your note copy. I, here, I'll draw one table. Here, I'll draw one table. Here, I'll write living things. Living things and non living things. Draw the table like this on your note copy and write the living things and non living things in your surrounding. There's that is, this is your comma. Number two. Number two, draw the one one pictures of living thing and non living things. and color it. Student, to get new video, please subscribe my channel Natural Beauty of Megauli. Thank you.